a fighter or a battlefield commander. If we're going to try and, like, be a mother of sludges, I feel like we're going to be slightly more battlefield commander. I'm trying to think, like, have you ever seen sludges that you could water ritual, like legendary sludges? I'm trying to remember if I've ever even seen a legendary sludge. It has to happen. Like, I'm pretty sure everything in the game can show up like that. Like, there's no guarantee it'll be in the run, but, like, it could be in the run. You haven't seen it? Nor have I. But, like... If I could have legendary weeps that I could chat with and water ritual, then I have to assume we could run into sludges and slimes. Like, I've seen them as shopkeepers. Yeah, they can, but it's random. I think I might take Apostle. We'll go for... we'll go for an Esper. Non-legendary is scary, yeah. But I'm just trying to think, like, how can we increase our rep with slimes and sludges? We can find uh, Schrodinger's pages and, like, do it that way. Let's go for a big brain. Let's be a Professor X. We're gonna be an Asper. We'll take Evil Twin. <laughs> Should we take unstable genomes? No, if we're gonna do this, we should actually take the things we're gonna need to make it work. So we have to take Beguile. Light manipulation or Sunder, Force Bubble and Beguile. Definitely need Beguile. Force Bubble to keep us safe. It seems very important. Light Manipulation lets us shoot Laser Beam. Yeah, the Twin won't have our minions. That's gonna be our big one. That would be a fun AI to build. Your, your evil Twin. Cryokinesis, Desecration, Domination, Ego Projection, Force Bubble, Force Wall, Precognition. Precognition is great, but it really slows the game down <laughs> a lot. Keep track of your minions and allies and give the twin his own set of minions. <laughs> yeah, Telepathy, like, we only have the one point less to spe left to spend. And I feel like Telepathy is the only really sensible thing to put that point into. You want your twin to be able to shoot lasers? I mean, we'll have a, fir a force bubble, so we'll be okay. And our companions can come after him. So it's going to be important that we get good companions. We're going to be pretty squishy, I imagine. So, like, they're going to be carrying a lot of stuff. So ego is going to be very important. Willpower is going to be very important. These are a little less important. Well, I feel like we want to get a good gun and shoot people with good guns. Range is going to be pretty critical, I think. If we get into close range, people are going to fuck us up real bad. We want, we want to be a little bit further back. Guns going to be important, Katase. Did you discuss the sacred element? Also, welcome back from the desert, Katase. Who are we making? We are making a Esper. We're only going to have psychic abilities. We're going to have companions to do most of the melee stuff for us. We'll we'll focus on gun and, and psychic abilities. So strength's going to be pretty low. So we won't have much carry capacity. Oh, thank you for resubscribing. Wow, who would do this? <laughs> who would resubscribe? The 24-hour stream was a good time. At some point, Katase, we'll, we'll, we'll play we'll play something in your honor, since you weren't there. But you should have should have been played for in game time. Game time, you land. Pretend any of those words were sensible. 
Some intelligence so we can make better weapons and tools to keep us safe. I think we might just end up being kind of glass cannony. Like, we won't have too much strength and too much toughness. So, like, ego's probably gonna be very important. Things will be cheap for us, that'll be nice. What mutation set we pick? We are going to be running with Beguiling, Force Bubble, Light Manipulation, Telepathy, and we have an evil twin out for revenge. We got all the dominant genes, they got all the recessive genes, they're angry with us, you know how it goes. I mean, we probably don't want, like, pathetic points here. I guess we could go into negatives with strength. That's not too, too bad for us, right? How efficiently you penetrate your opponent's arm with melee attacks, how much damage your melee attacks do, your ability to resist force movement, and carry capacity. I guess we could be... We could be a little weak in strength. Number of hit points, healing rate, ability to resist poison. That's, that's a little bit more important. I would like to keep that above negative. We could take 21 Ego, we could bring Int up to 19, or Willpower up to 19. Maybe we do 20 Ego, 19 Willpower for the recharge. More Ego? Bring Int down to 17. No negative 2. Well, uh, you know what? <laughs> Negative two strength. Ego 22, willpower 18, intelligence 17, toughness 16, agility 18. How's that? Should we really just be noodle armed? Well, hello, is it going there, Hex? Hello there. Two points, we need three for you, huh? Twenty-three ego, eighteen willpower, eighteen intelligence, sixteen toughness, seventeen agility, ten strength. Like agility is going to be somewhat important, but we can get things to augment that, and we can put points into it as we go. How's this look? Dump strength... Dump statted strength real hard. We are noodle arms. We are weak. Weak! We can't do shit. I could take another point out. Yeah, I have to put another point somewhere. Uh, Agility back up to 18. How did that happen? How did I have one point left over? There we go. 18, 18, 18 for agility, intelligence, willpower. 23 you go. Toughness of 16. We're pretty weak, but we're not at negative. And just no points. No points in the strength whatsoever. Another point in the toughness. 17 toughness, 17 agility. 10, 17, 17, 18, 18, 23. <clears throat> The only thing I wish is we could somehow have double heads, so we can get more ego. But I'm sure we'll get some stuff for our face pretty quick. I like it. I'm okay with this. Why such a big ego? Because I'm awesome! I'm the best! <laughs> what are we gonna name this is a horrible person? Johnny Bravo. <laughs> Adjunct Professor X. He's the best character today. Unlikely. He could actually be. Like, I was really enjoying the Axe character, and that character probably could have gone the distance, which is why I saved him. But I did get greedy on that fight with the stupid plant that, like, the game told me, I can't win this fight. I should've just walked away. 
but I put so much time and effort into that stupid location. I really wanted... I really wanted to complete that quest. Didn't do any trukin today. Charles! <laughs> Charles. So we like. I like it. I like Charles. Get out of my head, Charles. Charles, otherwise known as Student Teacher X. Yeah, I don't understand how that guy used Beguile, like, within three turns of each other. He had to have used something like that. A hill village. Desert Canyon. Rep with Hermits, a Bloodstained Neck Ring. Wayfaring, Rep with Equine Tortoises and Vines. Rep with Reptiles. There is a mutation that resets your other mutations. He might have had that too. Cause that guy burgeons, burgeoned and burgeoned. Like he was just, the whole thing was a horrible nightmare. <clears throat> there was, there was no hope for our poor little new, new spider friend. I might start with the salt dunes. Just because rep with reptiles would be nice. We could use the Izakari banner to increase our Izakari reputation. And that would solve a couple of problems on the map. Equine tortoises and vines are nice to have decent rep with as well. Hermits don't matter. But the neck ring means we don't have to worry about baboons. Uh, and their teleport helped you. Yeah, the teleport gave me an out and I wasted it. I should have just walked upstairs. But no. Had to try and, had to try and win the fight. Next time, next time if something looks that bad, I'm just getting out of there. I'm just gonna leave. We gotta be smart. We gotta hit the bricks when appropriate. Hills and start for, and pray for a baboon starting village. Getting any follower early would be nice. Like we really want to get someone quick, because we are pathetic. Our character is pathetic. Their brain is throbbing and, and powerful, but their body is weak. Weak and sad. On the 28th of Simon Ut, you arrive at the village of Kibamish. On the horizon, cuts jungles, strangle chrome steeples, and rusted archways to the earth. Further and beyond, the fabled spindle rises above the fray and pierces the cloud ribbon sky. Auto explore. Get our bearings. Quickly talk to anyone we could water ritual. See if we can convince anyone to join us. Because... We cannot do this on our own. But we can also just beguile anyone we want once we get on the map. We're gonna want to proselytize somebody, beguile somebody, and then start rep- rep convincing as many people as we can. To the Rainbow Woods! You're like a very good televangelist. If only we could do it through a TV. Align yourself with me, and go and fight random enemies. I'll let you know on a level. Just like random ass farmers. It's true, with proselytize and beguile, we have two slots ready, to, ready and raring to go. The villagers of Kibamish are known throughout the hills for their foul use of cider and meal preparation. <laughs> Early in the days after the reign of Reshef, on the first day of spring, Kibbas founded Kibamish with a R. Oh, the letter R, you say? In 1 BR, the gyre widened and the final plague afflicted the land. The Gersh Nephilim rose from their cradles on the stair moon and slouched toward Cud to eat its young. Reshef rose to meet them in battle. That's convenient. We got some easy experience for the six day stilt. With Mr. Reshef fanboy. 
All right, let's get our quests. We have Farushurak, Legendary Apple Farmer's Daughter. Let's talk to the village elder, Nemet the Shrewd. I'm looking for work. Hold on. Drifter, welcome to the village of Kibamish. We're a clan who treasure a wire strand and abhor those who violate wire strands. Don't put wire strands in your butt. As long as you are respectful, you may drink our fresh water. I'm looking for work. Speak to Fire Shirak. Or you met. All right. I have more to ask. What's your deal with other people? Loved by the villagers. Hated by the children of Amon. That doesn't matter. They're always going to hate us anyway. Hated by frogs. Disliked by the villagers of Lash. For eating one of their young. What the fuck, dude? Is sounding disrespectful? Yeah, no, he he's hated by frogs for worshipping a highly entropic being. Which is fine. But, like... He's merely disliked by the villagers of Alash for eating one of their young. The frogs hate him for, like, what he worships. The villagers are like, nah, I don't really care for that guy. He ate one of our kids. Come on, it was one time! <laughs> they didn't love that young. That kid sucked. Tasty, tasty chicken children. Traveler, you know, once my tribe would be going about the tedious work of speaking to peers all day. <laughs> but after discovering the purity of a wire strand, we changed our habits and invented new rituals. Unfortunately, chances separate us from our venerable wire strand. Would you seek it out and return it to us? My people tell me it has been taken to a snapjaw fort. Sure. I will find the venerable strand. We, we used to talk to our friends, and then we found out wires exist. Stay out of trouble, adventurer! Hold on, what's your- what's your situation? Only liked by people. <coughs> Fellowship of Wardens like me better. <coughs> These people like me better. <laughs> I have a secret already? You you know this. Your people told me this. 740 reputation for them to join my team. Are you insane? Live and drink, Warden. What kind of what kind of like bat are you? Tissue boring proboscis. You're scary. Hello. Is there work around here? Adventurer, we've been speaking to pretenders, and we learned about a nearby location forgotten to our people. A dromad caravan. What pearls might this place hide? The nectar of the eaters? Livestock? An altar to a wire strand? We must know. If you find it for us, we'll compensate you for your labor. What say you? We hear you can find it by following the road that passes through Alash East. Only the Liberator can know a wire strand. I will locate... Oh, it's a Dromed Caravan. <laughs> yeah, that's an insane recruit rep over there. It's some kind of sap. I don't know what kind, though. I will find this Dromed Caravan. Like, there's no way that thing is worth so much rep. That will die instantly. It wouldn't make it. Alright, we got our two quests. Is the stupid zealot here? Yeah, where's the zealot? I accept your dumb quest. Alright, I got my quests. We got apple farmers. Let me see what kind of food we're working with in this town. Worm jerky and fermented compote. Plus five the quickness, ten and ten percent max HP. Not not the most exciting. Let's hit up the outskirts. If we got someone out here, we're probably gonna beguile them. Do do. Oh, well, I think we'll proselytize first. We'll beguile the next one.
because they're <laughs> we want to get some companions. They're going to do a lot of the work for us. I'll laser beam them. But they got to like basically get bodied by the uh, the enemies for us. And there is a farmer here. Perfect. All right. Uh, I want Lays to be number one. Ambient Light goes all the way at the bottom. Lays, Force Bubbles two, Beguiles three, Intimidate. It's number four. Proselytize is number five. Then Sprint them in camp. Perfect. Perfect. What do we got here? Nothing there. Hello, friend. Wake up. Would you like to work for me? He's unconvinced. This pig farmer is a son of a bitch. He doesn't have any weapons, though. What if you were to be more convinced to join me? Hey, bud. That's nice of you to hang out with me. Butcher corpses is allowed. He is a pig farmer. Acquire new mutations. The good old day farmer will try again. Attributes. Focus on strength, agility, toughness. You're gonna be you're gonna be front line, man. You gotta you gotta get ready. Uh, you could pick up gear. And what do you got? You're not allowed to learn any bow and rifle. That's a little disappointing. But I guess that's fine. Now that I think about it, where are the long range men? You gotta get in close. So let's see. Long blade? Long blade and shield, maybe? Come along, friends. We gotta go find someone to proselytize. <laughs> We need more friends. Good screen. Good screen. Let's check out over here. Can't wait to find out what X-Men the Farmer is. I look forward to him leveling up. Surely someone here will be proselytizable. I'm sad he's a pig farmer, like the vine reaper, the fine vine farmers or whatever you want to call them. They, they usually start with a weapon for cutting down their vines. Hello, apple farmer's daughter. Probably, probably don't want to proselytize you. Someone with some combat capacity might be better. Man. Why did I look? I mean... <laughs> he could be forget-me-not. Is that an actual X-Man? I never know X-Men. Woven tunic, hat... Oh, he has a hand axe! This guy has weapons. Proselytize. Yes! Oh, because of lovesickness, you're right. I always forget about that. They need to do more with that in the game. Manage mutations. Acquire new mutations. I'm excited that we get to watch these people become mutants. Attributes. Strength. Agility. Toughness. Enable gear pickup. Manage skills. Axe. And shields. All right, got my two farmers. They definitely won't mind if I open this. I beguiled one, proselytized the other. We have my two companions now. Let's go for our first quest. Snapjaw for it. Easy enough.
Welcome back. Wish I could tell them to auto explore. It's like you you do it for me. Go get him. There was a snapshot over there. Go get him. I want that bow. Help, help. Good work. Good work, team. Or skin gloves. Get. Good work, team. Alright. I see a snap jaw. You guys are going to take care of it, right? I keep a distant reef. You and me both. Open Venerable Wire Strand. Get. Quest completed. Level up. Taking this chest with me. Come on, beat him up. Might as well continue beating them up. Friendly horse. Get him, team! You're doing- you're doing fine. Well, actually, you're doing not less fine. <clears throat> Let's direct you to move... ...here. That way both of you could be attacking the stupid Snapjaw. And now I can laze the Snapjaw. Pig Farmer learns Axe, learns Axe Proficiency. You're fine, you're injured. Good work, good work. I got Lays ready. Well. Good. Good laser beam. Ow! He shot me, kill him! Ow! Kill him! Good work, everybody. Level three. So proud of you all. Bronze ingots. That's not too bad. Nothing to take. Lead slug. Long sword. I'm going to take them mostly so I can drop the long sword for someone else. Oh, Jesus. Lays. Intimidate him. Ooh. Pig farm became quicker. He gained a level. And again, take stuff so I could drop it for my companions. You both have pickup, right? Disabled gear pickup. Disabled gear. Alright, good. If I drop some stuff, if you want it, you'll pick it up. Hey, that one bullet could come in handy if we get into a bad situation. Am I wearing any gloves? No. Equip. Collapse food. Let's take off the torch. We don't need it. That was the joke I was going for, yes. Uh, battle axe. Drop, drop. We have a short bow. Quest item. Trade goods. I don't remember getting a bunch of honey. Farmer equips a steel battle axe. Good work. Return the wire. All right. We want to find a lash. Oh, Snapjaw! Guys, Snapjaw! Kill it! Kill it! Oh. So my life flashed before my eyes. You guys will be quicker. Good work. Good work, team. All right, let's return this item, then do our second quest nice and quick. Or maybe I just do it right now. I just go straight up. Follow the river. And we're lost. Alright, friendly. Friendly. Oh yeah. I'll be bubbling in the uh, events anything with projectiles that isn't a seed spitter comes my way. Now that I think about it, we do have an attribute point to spend, which is going to go into Ego, bring us up to 24. 
And so what we got here? <clears throat> we have Beguile, Force Bubble, Light Manipulation. Uh, next rank. Laser damage is 1d5, 8 penetration. Probably. Oh, I'm not allowed to advance that one because we get our bonuses from our ego. So I'm not allowed to level up my... <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed to level any of these up. That's right. I forgot. Well, in that case, we'll just keep on saving up. Yeah, no choice. No choice but the new mutation at some point. Trash divination requires more intelligence. Oh man. Persuasion. We already have intimidate and proselytize. Menacing stare wouldn't be bad to have. Let's grab persuasion. Can get very mutation heavy with this build, yeah. Get a lot of bonus ranks just by existing. Alright, just a little lost. Oh, there's a turtle. That's what you guys are fighting. Laser beam doesn't penetrate the tortoise's armor. <laughs> yeah, we could berate people if we want to beguile and proselytize them. We got some new- oh. Is that a mimic? Oh! It's literally a chameleon. Pig farmer learns shield. Pig farmer learns block. Pig farmer becomes quicker. I don't know why these lizards are suddenly angry. Be cool, lizards. It's just me and my two pig farmers. My posse. My pig -ossi. All right, we got some angry lizards here. You guys know the drill. I'll help out with some laser beams. Why are they getting quicker? They uh, also gain skill points that they could put into stuff. I don't know why you guys are spreading out your attacks. Come fight this lizard for me. Oh, leveled up. Get the turtle, get it! Don't let it near me! I'm your precious leader! You guys got it? Killed the lizard? Alright, good work. That one horse just keeps on peeking onto the screen to see what's going on. Alright, I level up again. 146 points. Berate for 150 would be nice. Bow and rifle. I am going to be a ranged man. I probably do want to grab bow and rifle. 19 agility. Ugh. It'll be a little while, but sooner or later. Oh, yeah. No, we're one level away. We're almost there. Very soon, though. Very soon. Guess I can grab cooking and gathering for now. Kill that lizard! Kill it! Kill it! I got it. I took care of it. We will be the next level. We'll, we'll be able to get an invitation very soon. <laughs> very soon. I saw another turtle. Kill it! Get it, team! I love how determined the turtles are to kill me and not my companions. Good work, good work. I brought the muscle. Oh shit. Another turtle, kill it! Keep it away from me. Maybe work together, guys. One farmer just likes to watch the other farmer attack stuff. A jerky and star apple. I'll keep that in mind. I grabbed cooking because 
It's very handy. Alright, everything's friendly here. Guys, we've been lost for ages. Do you not? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a little... A little early to run into Baba Maba Baya Baba Baba Baba. A renowned honey-loving bark biter. Well, oh, no. That bark biter put up a fucking force field. Up and around the force field. Sprint is what number? Seven? <clears throat> We are leaving, team. We are not fighting legendary bears. No, 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 no. Ah, <laughs> oh, no longer lost. All right. I took one step. You guys hungry? I'm going to make lunch. Kill that pig! That's your job! That's literally what you do for a living! Why'd you piss off the bears? I don't know. I guess we just started with low bear rep. Yeah, negative 475. Another bear! Kill it! You guys are literally pig farmers. That's all you know how to do. Level five. Well, now we have no choice but to take. Excuse me, a new mutation. M. Makes you want to do a minion one? Yeah, I recommend. All right, you can confuse nearby enemies. We could burgeon. We could stunning force. Affected creatures act semi-randomly and receive a minus three penalty to their mental abilities. It's a 30 degree cone. Hindering your enemies. Three by three growth. I feel like this will end up killing my, my buds, but we would be friendly with a lot of plants. Confuse fits with the build idea? You're not wrong. You're not wrong. All right, confusion. Confused creatures are easier to beguile? Hey, not bad. Yeah, confusion does fit with uh, Student Teacher X. Just a quick, quick peek down here, see if there's anything interesting. Oh! Back upstairs we go. Jesus. That was scary. Almost died. <laughs> and can't kill it if your twin uses it. Oh, good point. Our twin with Beguile would be a problem. None of those Snapjaw? I should have looked much closer at the Snapjaw garbage. Whoops. I should really have found better armor while we were at the Snapchat village. Huh? Ah, ah. Huh? Kill it! Kill it, team! Kill it! What are you doing? Ah, no lost. So in theory, there's a town, it's a lush, which is nice, we can just auto-explore here.
some creepy statues. The villagers of Lash lead offerings at the feet of Flays and Oil, legendary Isakari rifle, in exchange for knowledge about finding the ideal place for being crawled over by insects. This is the worst fetish town. I don't like this one. That's that's awful. I don't I don't want I don't like it. Oh my god, we're in a terror terror loop. The foulness of Pariahs was revealed to the people of Lash through hating being crawled over by insects. What? So they wanted the best place to get crawled on by insects, and hating that taught them the taught them that pariahs are foul. This is a good lore. A good lore. I like it. It's a good place. I'm proud to proud to now be a member of this place. Alright, it looks like it's a town of plants, so it makes sense that they want to be crawled over by insects. But then they learn that some insects probably, uh, you know, eat parts of them. Come let these bugs crawl on you. Are you kidding? Oh, it's gross. Prize suck. I always knew it. Were there any chests here? No. A foul one! Do, do. It's a bunch of plants that love being crawled over by bugs, don't like pariahs, and enjoy Isakari riflers. Car de Gelosa Beach, the j legendary jilted lover. The elder plant, Wythus. Wythothexifront. That's actually a good name for a plant. And you thought Clank was a pervert. Do, do. Hello. Traveler, welcome to the village of Alash, where society was steam, flays, and oil, legendary Izakari Rifler, and a poor blasphemy toward flays and oil, legendary Izakari Rifler. As long as you're respectful, you may drink our water. Talk to Bloody Blot to the east. So let me see who likes you and who doesn't like you. Loved by the villagers, hated by the villagers of Nakish for stealing a cherished heirloom, and disliked by the villagers of Shirava for lighting a fire beacon to warn their enemies. That's a dangerous plant willing to light fires. I don't think I need to water ritual you. Who'd you say? Was it this guy? You have any work? Find Weddledilla Shrub. Weddled a little shrub. Where is Weddled a little Weddled a little shrub? Don't make me puff on you. Clank puff on you. Need a gadget repair to identified friend? I'm a plant. I'm looking for work. Thank the esteemed woe that you're here, friend. I have a stint that needs doing. A short while ago, Warden Ruskoblung Beach gathered that a flayed and oil Ek metal folding chair has arrived. A dude's metal folding chair has arrived at the lair of Lagakanoni, Griddle Totus, legendary giant dragonfly. To slake my greed, I covet it. I'm willing to reward you if you steal it for me. All right, greedy plant, I'll get your folding chair, I guess. Slake my greed. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, this is a plant that wants to steal someone else's folding chair. I respect the hell out of that. This town's gonna be great if I can learn how to make uh, salve injectors. We could harvest dreadroot for days here. Let's try their spark tagine. Oh, it gives me discharge. Interesting meal. Uh, my quest was... We already found the wire strand. East along the road that runs through Alash. So we want to follow the road in town to the east. Can do. Easy, easy follow. Yeah, a legendary dragonfly's folding chair. Again, I know Joppa is like a nice, convenient, easy start. But random towns just give the most... Ludicrous quest lines and town lore. I always like doing randomized start points. It's a seed spitter. I don't have harvest ye yet, but like I plan on getting harvestry soon. Explicitly because that town's gonna be great for harvestry.
Their quest was what? They wanted me to find Flays and Oilic folding chair. We're gonna have to come back to this town no matter what, and like... Again, very nice. We could harvest Yuckwheat. I think I saw Witchwood Bark. We have Dreadroot Tubers, which is like Salve Injectors after a while. I like watching them go off the screen to beat something up that I can't see. Really, non-preserved is better for uh, resistance? Oh, Salty Sap? No. Oh! Pig Farmer! Horns, Stunning Force, Heightened Quickness. Turn a chance on a melee attack to gore your opponent. 2d3 damage. Goring attacks cause bleed. They're a short class blade weapon. Plus 100 rep with antelopes and goat folk. Back in the day before the cooking system was implemented. Uh, no stunning force, but heightened quickness would be nice for them being fast. And honestly, horns. Like, I might just tell this dude to go into uh, short... Short swords. The pig farmer gains cask. Is that you? Was that you? Are you the one that could do that? No, you haven't gotten your mutation yet. So our first mutant is, uh... Is a horned boy. He is learning axe, but we're gonna switch him off of that and onto short blades. And you're- I had you on long blade. I'll keep you on long blade. I mean, the other guy has some axe skills, that's still fine. Let's keep following the road. More witchwood bark that I can't harvest yet. Actually, hold on. Pneumatic jackhammer, well. Weird, weird early thing to find. 128 points. Let's grab Harvestry. Spicer, three ingredients. Or Butchery. Butchery means more things to cook with, but I'll save points. Once they kill this guy, I'll tell him to upgrade his horns. Oh, hold on, he's off killing something. There he is. I guess it's called Cask for him? He took one of the variants on Horn. Ah, some nice Witchwood Bark. So now we have Harvester. We're gonna go back to the town. We can get some nice stuff. Well, Laser Beam is working out. Still think I prefer fire beam at a face like the other character, but road. The road just stops. Oh, the the drum at caravan might be on this screen somewhere. Auto explore. You better be here. Dromad Caravan. I swear to God, if I get another quest with a Dromad Caravan that just never shows up. Come on, butcher that pig. I can use pneumatic jackhammer to hammer through the walls. Looks like we might not need to go through the walls. Did I miss like a turn on that road? Well, we'll check here real fast.
Ah, level six. And more experience from my farmers. And a chest. Star apple, yuck wheat stem, battle axe. Take the chest with me. Oh, pig farmer. Ah, oh, these are good choices. This is the pig farmer that is using long blades. So he's already starting to learn long blades. He can get stinger and get yet another long blade thing. Multiple arms. Is like I just like multiple arms. Triple jointed. I feel like stinger confusing venom is the way to go. Always stings on charge or lunge. Definitely stinger. Come here, friends. Don't have to change your weapon. And yeah, focus on leveling up that stinger a little bit. Uh, try to figure out where we went wrong. Yeah, just kill all the snapshots. It's easy experience. All right, and we'll go one more screen out this way, just in case. Go get him, team. Love laser beezing. Laser beaming people. Good work, good work. No drone man caravan. Did the road bend and I didn't notice? Like, we had to have missed a turn on that road. The snap. In theory, the stupid drone man caravan should be on this screen. It could be inside that wall, maybe. Doesn't seem likely, but. Blocked by shale, blocked by shale. Yeah, I don't think it's in there. I'm starting to hate Dromad caravans. Yeah, we're gonna see if the road, like, had another fork in it somewhere. You know, it said a longer road. It could have been on any of these screens. I was just doggedly following the road. Yeah, there it is. Okay. God damn it. Stupid Dromad caravans. What do you got here? Acting against the persecution of beetles, Kodakt led an army to the gates of Durvarok. She liberated citizens, and in her honor, they thenceforth called it Kodaktabad. Good story, good story. All right, both those quests are completed. <laughs> Congrats. I'm going to go back to that town, even though it's not this place's quests, because I want to harvest all the stuff here. There's like star apples. There's yuck wheat. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. This is like. I should just treat this place as a farm and come here for all kinds of stuff on a routine basis. We'll never want for yuck wheat. Star apples, dreadroot tubers, maybe even witchwood bark. I think those are definitely witchwood trees. Just have to deal with the terror of the dreadroot tuber section up there. Any any ripe witchwood trees? Yeah. No, this is a good place. Oh, Biscotti, I, I slept great the first night, like, right after. Right after the 24-hour stream. Uh, the night after that, I didn't sleep at all. My body thinks I'm on a one-night-on, one-night-off schedule right now. Which is, uh, not, not a good schedule. <laughs> Alright, team. Kill that frog. And by frog, I mean turtle. To 
catch you up, Biscotti. We are currently playing as a, a very legendary character known as Charles, aka Student Teacher X. My character is a noodle armed weakling, but they have a throbbing brain, and I brainwashed these two people to fight for me. These two pig farmers are gonna carry me. But yeah, we are weak. Weak! Strength was my dump stat. What can't you do with cut? I love this game. Like, the character creation process is my favorite. The character before this one, who sadly died because of my hubris, had four arms, four legs, and was just a... a four axes in each... Uh, each hand had an axe, and we were just dismembering everybody. Like, every time we fought someone, the floor was littered with body parts. I saved that character build. I'm gonna run that character again. That might be the one I do after this one. Because again, it's it's my fault he died. I just had to fight a thing that I knew I couldn't win against. Yeah, a walking blender of death, pretty much. Preserve my foods. I'm gonna preserve like fifteen of these these yucky wheats. Go for a quick meal. Can't date Q girl, but in Baldur's Gate you can. I love. I love that Baldur's Gate, part of his marketing campaign, someone was like, you know, we have to advertise that you could fuck a bear. Like, it's critical people know you could have sex with a bear. Can you get married in Cud? So far, no. But I'm sure, you know, I'm, I'm almost confident to say that there's definitely going to be a mod out there. If not now, then soon. What introduces marriage. Relationships to Caves, caves of Cud. Me no talk good anymore. Vaporize that crocodile. Jadol Fostump. Legendary Glowpad. Caves of Love. That would be the name of it. Cthulhu Tentacles. I saw a long, long argument online where people were arguing about whether or not it counts as bestiality if you sleep with the wild-shaped druid a as a bear. And it's, it's like, I'm glad, I'm glad the trailer has reduced this little part of the internet to an impassioned argument on the subtleties of bestiality. The answer, of course, is no. Like, it's clearly not an actual bear, it's just the form of a bear. So hence, not truly bestiality. And... Consent is, like, the important part there. <laughs> and obviously it can consent, because it's a druid. You just made an ego mutant with three unstable light lasers. You hit level 10 from roaming sands and got domination, beguiling, and pyro. I really like doing randomized mutation runs in this game. Beguiling just means get a companion early and, and foster that companion. Let them fight for you. Domination's fun, but be careful. If you have a beguiled companion and you dominate something, your companion will attack the thing you dominate. Pyrokinesis. I prefer the laser beamy ones more. I mean, I might as well head downstairs and, and chat with the legendary glowpad. Someone made the argument in that in that in that uh, argument I'm talking about that said, I'm pretty sure that if you have sex with a bear, the bear consents, because otherwise you're dead. I was like, you know, that's kind of a good argument. Like, I don't think you can have non-consensual sex with a bear. It's a bear. <laughs> it will kill you. This is a weird conversation. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bad one. Is the internet a bad place?
<laughs> For some reason, the phrase, the... The roads less traveled popped in my head, but it was the bears less fucked. I don't know why. Ephemeris, welcome to... We were talking about how the internet was getting into arguments about the uh, subtleties of the druid sex scene in the Baldur's Gate trailer. And whether or not... Whether or not it counts as bestiality, and also that went on to... Can you have consensual sex with a bear? Glad I could darken your day with that one. Where is this legendary glow pad? Was I passing another staircase? Ooh, weird artifact. Stun rod with a cell. Replace cell, remove cell. Take the stun rod. Go get it, boys. I just, I love sending in my, my pig farmer crew. Just like, guys, take care of me. Something's going on down there. I don't like it. Back to Auto Explorer. Guys, go take care of it. Guys? Thank you. Ow. Auto Explorer. You have to look at the glow pad. The Legendary glow pad is a slightly different color, of course. Once I finish auto exploring, I'll try to figure out which one of the glow pads was the important glow pad. I think this is the bottom floor. Well, you know, before I leave too far. Normal glow pad. Normal glow pad. Normal, normal glow pad. Wait, wait. Normal glow pad. <laughs> Hold on. All regular glow pads. Where's the legendary glow pad? Are you the legendary glow pad? Glow pads are stupid. Team, take care of it. As a quick snack. I want to find the glow pad mostly for the purposes of asking where the hell I am and not being lost anymore. Your average old glow pad, normal ass glow pad. I like shooting glow pads. <laughs> Hex. They're 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 neutral friendly glow pads. How dare you? My god! Where is this glow pad? Was there a staircase down? Jesus, hold on. Campfire nearest? He's not even showing up on important people. Maybe he wasn't all the way on the bottom. Maybe he was up here somewhere. Campfire remains. Kipper? <coughs> Neutral XP farms that can't fight back. <coughs> Hello? No longer lost. Let's trade. Cooking sigil is definite. Concentrate dream beard glades. Neutron flux. What the hell, dude? Why do you got this shit? That's dangerous. That shit's dangerous. You know, we could cook a meal that gives us reputation with slimes. That's something we could do. We should collect slime. That'll solve part of the problem. Tag him on the map. 
You sense a sinister presence near- uh oh. My evil twin's here somewhere. Shit. Gotta be careful. I think I figured out what my evil twin is. Evil Charles! <laughs> he has a cloth robe. <laughs> I really have to pee bad. Uh, Witchwood wreath, neck ring, iron battle axe, steel longsword, compound bow, boar skin gloves, nail crested leather moccasins. Have you ever found the ape god? Had multiple runs trying to find an ape to lead me to him. Uh, go to Kakyuka, like the mushroom town, and Mayor Nuntu, if you uh, buy rumors from him. I got his location from him, but I died before I could get to the ape god. We're gonna go ahead and target this character. Ow. Sooner or later that wall is gonna come down. Oh, what's that? Oh, he used Confuse. Where's my Confuse? I forgot I have Confusion. Let's put Confusion up by Menacing Stare. I got it from Legend. Oh, you're right! But Kakyuka, talking to Mayor Nuntu, you can get it. Gotta love mowing the lawn at 8 p.m. And it's still 108 outside. Jeez. Alright, where where is Evil Charles? Shit, I lost him. My other companion is probably with him right now. We have 55 turns for Bubble. Confusion's ready to go, though. Where is this son of a bitch? All apes have a chance. Wiki says some apes are walking towards him. Feels like a lie. That'd be a tricky one to figure out, yeah. Where is he? You guys are just fighting him, right? Okay, it's much more wide open up here. This is where, if, I, if we're gonna fight my evil twin, I'd like to fight him up here. Where the shit is he, though? Does your evil twin kind of, like, dip out sometimes? Is he just gone? I would have really liked to have killed him. Might have died. All right, let's look around. I'll just auto explore. If we run into him, we run into him. I mean, technically, we met him. I just don't know where he is now. I don't think I picked up his stuff. I'm just watching this, this text scrawl over there. Let's see if it mentions passing by a corpse. Uh, chem cell. Yeah, I don't know. Twin will not drop loot? For a build like this, if we were doing partners, yeah, like... What's he gonna do? He has to fight my two aggressive pig farmers. Did it drop a norm, Skull? You guys have butchery, right? <laughs> Could you butcher this for me?
Uh, before I continue, what am I here to do? Right, there's a chair here. We're here to steal a chair. I feel like you're doing that thing where you just stand there and let someone beat you up. I'm not going to lose my carefully curated pig farmer collection. Alright, auto explore. Once the bubble and confusion is used, the battlefield commander is easy to kill when it has nothing to command. It's true, like, we're built for getting these guys to do stuff for us. And this is our, merely our first two companions. We'll have more as we go. Like Warden 1FF, I'm definitely taking him back. He's my boy. You know what? You guys will have a lot, <laughs> a lot more luck doing that. In 5960 UPR, our corrupt administrator was appointed Minister of Subyashan. He outlawed the practice of staring at the night sky, and your rod was forced to flee. <coughs> <coughs> and there'll be sludges! In 3232BR, Death Redoct challenged himself. <coughs> challenged the Sultan the Cud to a duel over an ordinance prohibiting the practice of staring at the night sky. He won and took the crown. He was 18. Young guy. Get me in there. <laughs> Deep in Urchemu slums, Dothrodox stumbled upon a clan of frogs performing a secret ritual. Because of his reputation for murdering someone with a dagger made of stardust, they furiously rebuked him and declared him a villain to their kind. No staring at the night sky. That's stupid. We're going to fight about it. They do that when they target something what's in f behind what's in front of them. Ah. I should really just, like, tell them to change their targets in those situations. No stairwell leading down. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna go make some food. You you continue to slap that stone. We have a quick meal. That's a normal ass dragonfly. We have to figure out where the downward stairs are. This is a bad level gen. <laughs> Hold on, maybe maybe instead of fighting that, we uh, we target we target this mud route here. Oh my god. Just love being impaled. Carrying too much to move. Oh yeah, I forgot I have my hammer. I should be using that more often. Uh, let me drop literally everything but the nanomag jackhammer, which I might use. Compound bow? I'll drop a short bow. What? Very confused.
Where's this chair? Fine flays and oil like metal folding chair. At the lair of Lekoninoni Grill Totus. That's where we are. Oh, I am pathetic right now, it's true. But I haven't actually picked up any armor yet. What about you guys? What do you got? You mind if I have that leather armor, maybe? You could have this woven tunic. Giant dragonfly. We gotta find the legendary one. Let's trade. He has nothing to trade. Here he is. I don't even remember seeing him. Gotta pee. Gotta pee. There you are. Hey, buddy. Let's trade. I would like to buy that. It costs... 0 0.03 monies. I'll give you... <laughs> I'll give you... What? Like three arrows for it? Four arrows for it? Four arrows. Five arrows. What a deal for you. Alright, I guess I leveled up because I'm being watched now. What's your your situation? How do people feel about you? Loved by grazing hedonists, disliked by birds. Whew, I got I got a PBRB. Alright, I gotta turn in my find the strand, gotta turn in my dromad caravan, gotta turn in my folding chair. <laughs> Thank you for patting me. And we could hit up the six day still, perhaps, and really grab a couple of last levels and maybe grab some armor. That'd be nice. Roll 2.67. No. What is this on the floor? Asphalt. Is that a slug snout? Come on, you're a pig farmer. You've trained for this. Oh my god, asphalt's the worst. You get stuck in it so easy. You discover the lair of Chalapuhotl. Legendary Horned Chameleon. That is probably not an ideal location. That's what I thought. Horned Chameleon, not friendly. Well, let's not waste our time with a non-friendly legendary monster. Snapjaws, kill them! Get them, team! Protect me! Across the river. Oh god, there's an angry turtle coming at me. What was that setting fire over there? We have a clockwork beetle and psychic thrall. Hindran scout and pariah and psychic thrall. The amount of psychic thralls I'm seeing means I don't want to see what's in the bottom right-hand corner, do I? Evil twin! You son of a gun! I bubbled first, right? Just gotta get a little bit closer. Fuck you. <laughs> Guys, don't attack my bubble. Get him! Get him, team! He's confused! Oh! Might have myself a little witchwood snack. They got him.
Does my evil twin, like, just keep coming back, or you kill him and he's gone forever? The animus of a vast mind. Someone is near. <clears throat> Let's really hug the wall, team. Let's be careful. You have an infinite number of evil twins. <laughs> And here I thought Evil Twin would be super easy. Yep, Asper Hunters. Let's see, how are we doing on Glimmer? We're at 21 Psychic Glimmer. 352 skill points to be spending, though. What? I should be buying some stuff. Uh, I probably want everything in the cooking tree here. Trash divination would be nice. Some wayfaring is probably going to be important. I do want bow and rifle, even if we don't have the stats for it yet, because eventually I'm going to want to shoot people. Toughness chance, shake off the effect. I'm sad we can't loot them too, yeah. Heavy weapon, pistol, self discipline, shield, short blade, tactics, tinkering? Do we have the int for Tinker 1? We do have the int for Tinker 1. Ooh, yeah, that's a good point. We want to get uh, inspiring presence for sure. Make our companions better. And then I think I'll grab Tinkering. Soon we'll get Tinker 1. So there's something here with a, a strong psychic presence. Which is why I'm hugging the wall aggressively. We have Bubble, but if they start Sundering Mind, I would be a little frightened. Eh, whatever. I want to get not lost. <laughs> not worth it. You discovered Moroke's hearth! Is that a town? Friendly place? Oh, it's a farm. Still, friendly place. You guys are gonna fit right in. It's a pig farming place. <laughs> I don't know why. There's something about the fact that our companions are two pig farmers that amuses me. Uh, we're gonna talk about pig farming and like how pig farming's cool and your favorite parts of pig farming Salve injector you say take <laughs> All right, we robbed this pig farm. Let's get out of here. Oh shit. Wait, we can ask him where we are Hello, sir Thank you for telling me where the hell I am Right next door. Alright, we gotta turn in this quest. We need to talk to, not the warden, but... With Exelthal Frond, I think it was? <clears throat> nope, not you. Legendary Jilted Lover? It wasn't you. It wasn't you. It wasn't the Apothecary. Was it the warden? No, it was Widodle Shrub. I remember now. I found the Flays and Oilac metal folding chair. Thank you for your service, adventurer. Our village owes you a debt. Please take a random garbage item. What do you got for me, buddy? Bronze key and emergency service security card. Oh, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Schrodinger page, but it's an already filled in Schrodinger page.
A stranger page from the Annals of Cut, Denizens of the Yid Freehold chapter. I feel like I want to take the Schrodinger's page, just because Schrodinger's page is cool, but... But, like, this is great. Like, fundamentally, this makes the game easier. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, Yid Freehold is pathetic. Like, we're not going to have any trouble with that. They're going to be friendly with us. I'm really sad it's not a blank Schrodinger page. Alright, we have to take the bronze key and the emergency security card. That's going to open up doors. Life will be a lot easier. I hit auto explore and I said nothing left to explore, so I assume that means nothing's grown back yet for harvestry purposes. Alright, before we leave, let's go and cook in the scariest area ever. Not like actually scary, I just mean it has a lot of fear effect here. Yuck, wheat, salve, eat the spark, tagine. Yeah, once I turn in these quests, it's gonna be oxygen not included time. Got two quests to turn in here. Wait, don't auto explore. Go straight to the people we want to talk to. <coughs> Village Tinker is gonna give me my recoiler. I found the venerable wire strand. Friend, you have our thanks. You've proven yourself a friend to our village. Take this recoil and return whenever your throat is dry. Sleep well, Phage, sleep well. Kibamish recoiler, nice. Are you seeking? Yes, I will do the Gritgate quest line. Thank you very much. And the other one that had something for me was the Shrewd, right? No. Return to Kibamish and talk to Farushakrak. I've located a Dromad caravan. Adventurer, you have our thanks. Our village owes you a debt. For now, choose garbage from our stockpile. Combustion cell, lead acid cell, solar cell, Schrodinger page. Wow, we're just getting Schrodinger pages all over the place. This one's for the Pudis Templar. Fuck you. Like, who would ever want that page of the Schrodinger? No. Bad page. No one wants to be friends with the Pudis Templar. I guess I might... No, I have light manipulation. I don't need a symbiotic firefly. I guess I'll just take some cells. Carrying too much to move. I figured that was going to happen pretty quick. Equip this leather armor. Drop the cloth robe. Drop all these torches. They're garbage. Nanomagic jackhammer I'll have someone else carry for me. Bedroll bronze key. I got chest. This is all lightweight stuff. Four pounds, the bedroll. <clears throat> compound bow. I have a rifle, right? No, I don't. I guess I'll equip the compound bow for now. Quest item, stamped data disc. Got my tonics. Got my new recoiler. My trade goods, my water containers. Oh, I'm carrying a decent amount of water here. Alright, I got some good rep in town. We could have someone join us that way. Do, do, do. Friendly average. Village Tinkerer. Engraved leather armor, wide brim hat. Can I water ritual you? No. Don't think I can water ritual the apothecary. Just want to see who I could steal to hang out with me. Shrewd. I think it's just the apple farmer's daughter that I can get. The warden's insane. There's no way I'm giving him that much. The tinkerer, though, we might be able to get. Damn it. Not the tinkerer? I feel like it's a waste to do the apple farmer's daughter. Village elder, you might be. Yeah, you're you're water ritualable. Children of Mon, hated by frogs, that's all fine. Live and drink. Defined by their nobody relationship to an apple farm. Apple daddy. 
Learn butchery. I ask that you join me. Do do. Yeah, teach me butchery. And join me. My small, weird army grows. Harvest plants, mental mirror, teleport other. Manage mutations, get new mutations. Don't, don't worry about the others. You know what? Focus on multiple arms and acquire new mutations. Attributes, strength, agility, toughness. Enable gear pickup. Skills, if you're going to be multiple arms, we want you to do short blades. Tactics. Pistols. That should be good for that. And... I think I'm done with you, right? Yeah. Good, good. Auto explore just to auto harvest everything. And I'm just gonna run up to the six day stilts so I can end my run there for all the barmen. Yeah, it's an all farmers run. That's that's a dating website, right? Only farmers? <laughs> Welcome to my only farmers run. Carrying too much to move. You there, first companion I saw. You're gonna carry for me. This wine, this honey, and this water. And this jackhammer. Getting a backpack is suddenly kind of... Kind of a high priority for me. Just so I can carry some shit. My character's got weak little noodly arms. Alright, so the six day stilts. Getting lost in the desert's not too bad. Outside of Dawn Gliders. The legendary Salt Kraken, Shirushum. Ooh, the Pig Farmer. Precognition. Oh, Paralyzing Stinger. Easy choice. Alright, Salt Kraken seem to be friendly. Hold on, there's something scary next to me. It's a Gershworm. I'm poisoned by gas right now. Getting a little concerned. This Chitinous Puma is just fine in every way right now. Where are my companions? I might run over to the legendary fork horned new. Like, literally start sprinting. Menacing stare and intimidate both require them to be a lot closer to me, right? Uh, let's put all my toggle on stuff way down here. So, Lays, Force Bubble, Menacing Stare, Confusion Beguile, Intimidate, Proselytize, Sprint, Make Camp, Telepathy, these go down at the bottom. Yeah, I think sprinting is what I want to do right now. Herd of nice animals, be friends with me! Idly grazing. <coughs> My companions teleported in. Loved by antelopes, disliked by the villagers of Akish for leading a raiding party on their camps, disliked by the consortium of Fida for tricking them into sharing the fresh water, and hated by the villagers of Bash for stealing a treasured heirloom. Don't care. If I could be friends with him, I could get 
a whole host of friends. Chat, what a ritual. Ah, oh, I can't be a friend yet. Live and drink. I'm gonna move with the herd because I'm afraid. <laughs> Who just opened a doorway? None of my companions have that ability. What is going- oh, that's the salt cracking path over there. Come on team, beat that shit in this boom up. Look at that salt cracking path. Just carved right through. What are you doing down there, bud? The new has the vortex. Oh, I wish I had secrets that he liked. What are these things called? Forkhorn New. What do they fall under? Are they grazing hedonists? Antelopes. It's antelopes. We're at 125. Peek my head back up here real fast, just see what's going on. I feel like we'll come back here another time. There are hostiles nearby. I love watching this giant herd swing over to take things down. Alright, I know where that lair is. I would love to get that new on my team. Oh, glorious Shekinah. Chat with you real fast. Hey, I got secrets about Reshef I want to share with you. 250 experience points. Auto explore so I could share another secret about Reshef with you. Hey, I got another one for you. I don't know why you don't know this one. It's written down over there. How many books in my inventory? Do my quick circuit around. And I'll save that for next time. No. Do I have a reputation where I'm allowed to actually go and solve the, the mystery of Bela? Where's Bela? Hindrance of Bela, only minus 200. It might be possible for once. Whoa! What? What's going on over here? <laughs> Lulahart! What? What are you wearing? Ah, uh, an Eichen turret tinker disguise. That threw me off. Anyway, yes, I will do it. I accept your quest. Let's go ahead and water ritual because. Craig Mensch, whatever. Differential calculus. What's going on, Cybermage? I have a secret to share with you. I have a secret to share with you. Alright, we're in with pariahs now. Ah, you know what? I am gonna quickly figure out what shops we have at our six day still, just so I can think about it for next time. Knowing what we have to work with is nice. Do, 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 de, de, de. This one has two kippers. Charles, cooking preparations. I just thought it was one. Well. 
Then we'll go torture our poor little oxygen not included people. Two cooking supply shops. That's page one. Be nice to have at least one schematics vendor, please? Armor vendor, more food supply stuff. It's gonna be a cooking exciting run if we take advantage of all these shops. A gunsmith. Grenade vendor. Nice leech farmer. Another armor salesman. Another grenade salesman. Oh god, there's a snail mother on the screen somewhere? This place is gonna be a shit show. Wine vendor. Schematic salesman, that's what we like to see. Just, just a real quick... See what you got. Serene Visage, Recycling Sharp, Anti-Matter Cell, EMP Grenade, Gravity Grenade, Mirror Shades, Normality Gas, Sniper Rifle, Stasis. Not super great, but... Next time we're here, your wares will change. Two boot salesmen on the same screen. It's like going into a mall and seeing two lids next to each other. Two foot lockers. Gotta have a snack. Ah, uh, from it, my yonder game. What is that, a cape? A cape salesman? You saw capes? Stylish cloaks. It is, in fact, a cloak salesman. Is a car banner. Wire strand for some reason. Hookah. Books. Come on, another schematics vendor. Give me two good shops. So far, I gotta take another quick peek. We got we got a couple of stinging stingers. We got a confusion stinger and a venom stinger. Uh, para parala paralysis stinger <laughs> had a stroke, and we got a new guy who has something going on. I forgot what though. He's got uh, multiple arms, heightened quickness, mental mirror, teleport other, and we're working on something new. What else did we got? This guy has the Confusion Venom Stinger. And this guy's got... Ah, uh, he grew horns and he has Paralyzing Stinger. I guess that means I should make him be... Yeah, this guy should actually be focusing on long swords too. Currently, I got him on short blades. Let's put him on long blades. Shield, long blade tactics. Right? Yeah, because he's got. He's got that stinger. I guess the, the horns are short blade, that's why I was doing some hor short blade on them. You know what? You can do both, bud. You're almost done with short blades. You're almost maxed out on short blades. Did I come from this side? Yes. A book binder and a wine maker. It's not a very good six day stilt so far. But if we want food shit, boy howdy have we got food stuff. There's like six stores that sell ingredients for cooking. And if we want clothing, I guess I could buy armor while we're in the six day stilt, but 
Again, I'll do that. Do that next session. I just want to know what stores we have, so it'll be quicker. We gotta get ourselves a gun, bullets... Another shoe salesman? This place is all shoes! While traveling through Alibal Homestead, Kudak II stopped at a market in Quanip Tangle at a skewer shop. He purchased a dominant pistol and named it the dominant cohort, Kudakaboon. Then he went to a nearby tavern and lost the goddamn thing in a game of dice, and he hated that tavern ever since. Good color scheme on that one. Orange and purple. You know? I'm down for finding a legendary gun. Like, I'm gonna be all about a team of a team of minions and me shooting guns through a bubble. My chame chameleon's leveling up the horn it came with. My centipede just got freezing ray, which I'm going to regret. As long as you're not directly in front, freezing ray might miss you most of the time. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You using the clever girl mod? Do, 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 do. Another! This six-day stilt is entirely cooking supplies. One auspicious day, Urad trekked through a lifeless salt pan and stumbled on a mysterious monolith. From that day forth, he always kept some salt hidden on his person. Early in 5164 BR, after several tumultuous years, the Sultan of Kud disappeared. Because of Kudak II's reputation for weighing items on a scale, and then SMASHING THE SCALE AFTER NOT LIKING THE RESULTS, he was chosen as the successor. Just use a domination on your minions? I recommend the Clever Girl mod, it's quite good. Like, a lot of times the mods will feel like, oh, this is overpowered. Clever Girl just feels like what should be there. And honestly, by the time the game exits early access, I would be shocked if they don't implement most of the Clever Girl stuff. <coughs> and we're back. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, ruin some people's lives in Oxygen Not Included. I can't make myself use mods even though auto pick up daggers tempts me. I was I was also hesitant for mods. But again, I feel like things that don't really change the balance of the game, but just make things uh, work better. All for that. Go for it. <clears throat> and then after like the game comes out and I've beaten the game a few times, I will destroy the balance of the game with mods. <clears throat> Much like Noida. It's like I've 100% annoyed and now, now the balance doesn't matter to me anymore. Save and quit. Let's go manage our little losers. 